I'd like to call to order t today the January 11th recreation meeting. All councilmen and president except Councilman Dixie Lambert. I'd like to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a prayer by Councilman Joseph. Bow ahead. Dear Lord, give us opportunities to make the right choices for our children here in the St. Parish so they can have fun in a safe environment. Dear Lord, also bless this great parish, this great state. Lord, bless all your own force of service members for this great country. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. I'd like to remind the public if anybody wants to speak to sign out a, a comment card and bring it to the podium or we don't have anybody sitting there so just bring it directly to me if you want to speak on the item and we'll call you up. Um, with that we'll go to agenda item number four, the director's report by B.J. Romano. B.J. Hit your mic. There we go. <laughs> That'll probably help. So another uh, Another couple of months of uh, moving forward with our parks improvements and upgrades and basically trying to modernize our facilities as much as possible, get things rolling. Um, just, uh, you know, we're, we're all over the place with projects everywhere, so don't want you to think just the things that show up here, what we're doing, but I'm just going to touch on a few things that we, we, we've been getting into and, and knocking out lately. get it right eventually uh, we continue the operation uh, cleanup uh, Richard Brown Community Center just went out there and did a basic landscape and just getting things you know tidied up out there just small things that just you know kind of had gotten out of hand in certain places just a little bit of work cleaned everything up um, we also went out and uh, dedicated uh, the plaque to, uh, to Richard coach Brown for the, uh, the namesake the bills name after I got his uh, plaque that honors him uh, up there hanging we had our annual uh, rainbow trout delivery to the uh, ponds out of uh, Lamar Dixon. Um, we we refurbished that every year with the, the rainbow trout for the youth, for all the fishing activities and stuff we had to go on out there. Uh, we hit Stevens Park pretty hard, uh, rolling through, making some repairs and some updates and some upgrades. Uh, we had about 12, 12 to 14 park benches throughout the place, most kind of outdated like the one on the left up there. Uh, upgraded them all. Uh, got that way with our excellent carper Thomas Nicholson just knocking things out left and right just stuff small stuff like that is uh, just really makes the park just you know look a whole lot better uh, we had a bullpen mounds out there got that that's that's basically modernized their facility right there uh, when, when you're talking about baseball uh, plenty of just uh, you know what I call maintaining and maintenance so just fence improvements around just small things that you know that we didn't have to bid out and you know spend a lot of money on we went out there and, and, and can do our self repairs and See right there, just fixing. We had multiple repairs like that of, uh, of the fencing out there. Um, they had an issue. Yeah, the bathroom was a little bit outdated. Um, they had, I don't know if it was vandalism or something, but at some point someone's kind of set a fire somewhere and had kind of burnt the tops up there. So we went in and we replaced the countertops. We uh, actually upgraded all the uh, faucets too. Uh, brought it up to specs. We added a uh, you know soap dispenser and we, we have in the mix to replace the mirrors and, uh, and, and slap that paint job on there. But just, just the little things right there is you know, making it pop off. Um, across the river over there on the west side, the Frank so Sotil uh, Pavilion kitchen update right here. We, uh, you know, this, the, we have a, a rental facility, the pavilion out there, and we uh, went through with uh, Adnes Outdoor Kitchen. Uh, it's enclosed yet out outdoor. It's kind of like a concession stand, but when you, you know, when you rent the, the building, so you have full access to that. So it, it really modernizes it and enhances it, you know, and, and should make it a, a big time selling point when people want to rent stuff. And it's just, like I said, it's, uh, it, it's keeping us up there with everyone else. Uh, our recreation department helping out within the community uh, under the direction of uh, Parish President Kenny Matasha and the recreation department. We're proud to announce our partnership with the school board and uh, Santa Mal High School. Is the gym at Santa Mal High School, uh, along with you know, the, the whole campus, flooded during the flood. Uh, they rebuilt most of some temporary buildings at center, but the, the gym itself is, is a long ways from completion. So that left volleyball teams and basketball teams without uh, any place to, uh, you know, to, to use, you know, kind of left them homeless for a little while. 
So we partnered up with them and, and welcomed them to, my, to our Ascension Gym at Lamar Dixon. Uh, they've, they've dubbed a the name on it, uh, their home away from the Gold Dome. And like I said, uh, you know, both the parish president and the recreation department are, are, are proud and honored to be able to, uh, to partner up with them and host them in their time of need. Um, in our report, you'll notice that we, we gave you guys um, basically a basic draft of, of a contract that's still a work in progress. Uh, it's a little cooperative endeavor agreement for our leagues. Uh, we feel that you know some of our some of our little agreements and everything were kind of outdated. Didn't quite cover what they needed to cover, you know, and, and just for you know to be safe on for both parties. It's, it's kind of a, a win win for both. So it's, it's still a work in progress, but we just want to. You know, we've been asked several questions about it, so we wanted to you know, just let you know where we're at and, and how that what, how that contract's going. It's just there for your review, just to make sure you got it. So, sure. but with that, that uh, that concludes my director's report. Anyone have any questions? Councilman Malala. Uh, it's looking good. I just want to say you and I had talked before the meeting. I'd, I'd like to um, see if we can get snowball stands at all the spray parks, uh, something I'd like y'all look into, put out a, a bid. We're not trying to make money for the parish necessarily. We don't want to lose money, just a, a zero something. So when kids go to these spray parks during the summer, they've got a spray uh, snowball stand right there. We can do that all over the parish. So if you'd look into that, that'd be great. Hopefully we'll have that ready when they open. We talked about it beforehand. It sounds like a great idea to me, and it's, it's convenience, and it's another amenity to our park, and it's another modernization to the park is what we're looking to do. So, Thank you. That, that's it. Councilman? Yeah, BJ, uh, I know you, um, you've been doing a lot of update and everything with all the parks and everything, but have all your updates and your little small stuff you've been doing, have it affected your budget any? Or you've been working within that budget? Oh, we're working well within the budget because I, I would have to say that at least you know you know you know in your projects labor is big time you know and, and I can guarantee you at least eighty percent of our projects it's in house labor it's us so we're doing it you know so okay. when you can when you can knock a project down to just materials you're gonna easily stay within your budget on it so okay um, my other question is uh, or that at um, Sotil Pavilion is that uh, Concession stand is almost completed, or is completed? It's 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 almost completed. It's nearing okay. completion. Uh, like I said, the sink and the counters in there. I think I think all you have left to do is get the get the stove itself in there, the, the cooking areas, and it's going to be ready to roll. And and I know the thing is we're going to be discussing on that. You're going to come back with us with a uh, uh, increase of the cost of it because we add that extra right, facility. Right, right. Yeah, we went, we started that, that little progress today. Talked okay. about it. That you know, it, I mean, you can't. The facility itself is just a pavilion. That's that's the price. When you add the kitchen there, it's going to increase the price. Because it's going to be make it. It's going to be. It's a win-win for the public and for us on that. So. Oh no, I, I mean it, that one pavilion is used in the summertime just about right every day of the weekend on all three days of the weekend. So yes, okay. sir. Thank you. Okay, no further question. We go to agenda item number six: substantial completion of Lala Field Fence Project. No, we skipped the pro programs oh, update. Program. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, agenda item number five: the programs update. All right. Get the screen back up again. All right, programs report. Uh, this time of year, basketball is in full swing, both on the east side and the west side. Uh, our, uh, on the east side over here, our Ascension Youth Basketball Associates and leagues back up and running. Uh, after having fallen victim to the flood of 2016, it kind of took out all their facilities that we actually hosted the league in. So they had to shut down for a year, but it's come back pretty strong. We have 65 teams in ages ranges from 6 to 16. They're all registered for 2018. These games take place every Saturday throughout our parishes, including our two courts at the Lamar Dixon, at the Ascension Gym at Lamar Dixon. Uh, for all your Ascension Youth Basketball updates, you can visit our website. AYBA.info on that. Over on the west side, they kicked off uh, on December 18th. Uh, over 200 participants have signed up. Uh, they, they, they already cranked their games off. They're being played at the, the, the Lemon Memorial Center and at Donaldsonville High School. Same thing on the west side. Any, any kind of updates you need, any kind of information you want, there's contact information there, but leaguelineup.com slash P-A-R-C-Y-B for any info you need for the west side basketball. We have a uh, adult flag football that we also offer. That's that's cranked off uh, in December. Uh, they're playing their games over at uh, the soccer fields, the multi-use complex. Uh, we got eight eight teams in there. It runs from December to mid mid February. Same like that. For more information on, on our league, you can visit our Facebook page. Just search A P A F F L. Uh, I'm involved in that league pretty heavily. I don't play too old for that. 
But <laughs> but I'm out there. You know, sometimes I have to step in the referee. I'll you know help organize all that. You see, we're up there painting fields and everything. But uh, it's a uh, it's a lot of exercise, and it's a, it's 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 a pretty fun thing out there for him. So, is our soccer club just recently wrapped up its fall league? Uh, they're in the inaugural season uh, that they they cranked up at our soccer multi-use complex. Uh, they hosted the prestigious Jumbala Cup, uh, the Target United Cup terms, and both at the new complex. And besides the very competitive soccer that went on there, you saw an influx of visitors to the local hotels, the businesses, and the restaurants all around. So it was a win-win, you know, you know, out there. And, and so far, you know, we you know we're working out the hiccups, you know, with, with a new facility and a, and a new group. But it's all it's all running about as smooth as it can possibly go right now. So. Any questions? Uh, real, real quick, I've heard a lot of good things about people going out to the soccer fields. It's, it's looking good. The bathrooms are looking good. Um, you know, I know up on, uh, what is it, March 16th through 18th is the uh, the 2018 Jambalaya Cup. And that's going to be kids from under 9 to under 18, recreation, competitive. So that's going to be a huge thing up there. I know they got five hotels people can stay at. So I think we're going to be ready for an influx of people that weekend to get ready. Like I said, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be an issue at all. Like I said, they, uh, they had their test run and everything went smooth on that. And, and uh, it was, from what I could see from out there, it was very successful tournaments and, and, and they put on a, did a very good job of hosting it as well. Good job. Councilman Lambert. Yeah, BJ, as uh, far as reimbursements from the league, have we seen any of that yet that was told to us before? As far as the advertising revenue goes with yes. that? Correct. Yeah, we're going to touch on that and one of the other subjects, but no, but it's uh, you know, they, they we came in at the at the beginning or the middle or towards the end of their fall season, you know, so they, they um, you know, our partnership with Lamar Dixon, they've gotten the ball rolling on that. Um, <coughs> as far as the league itself, their fees and stuff, it's all due on or before May thirty first, so they still got time on that. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're like I said, we're you know, and, we're, and the thing is, it's going to be both. It'll be fall and spring, you know, when it comes through. So correct. You know, so they, they'll, they'll do it all at once, but um. Like I said, um, they're in negotiations now. Like I said, we'll touch on that later on in the agenda of, uh, you know, some, some other things. So that it's, it's all rolling. So, okay. Thank you, sir. Councilman Joseph. Yeah, BJ. Uh, the thing is, I, I, I like the uh, football, you know, and add more programs. Um, if you can give us an update on the program that you're trying to uh, initiate, you know, to bring to the parish. Mm -hmm. um, Please do. That's what my important thing is. I mean, you're doing a, right now, you know, a lot of work, but programs to get more kids involved in recreation, That's more it. activities. That's it. Like, so we, we, it's adult flag football. They, from what I've been told, they tried youth flag football for a long time and it wasn't successful, but that's, that's nothing that I'm scared of. So it's something that I want to look back into again, you know, and get that right. All, like I said, as many programs we can have for the kids, you know, for the youth of the parish, you know, on, on both sides of the water, you know, that way, you know, because we know how that works. You keep them involved and, you know, everything works. That's a win-win for everybody. Okay. One, one more question. Um, in my younger days and probably 30 pounds lighter days, we played flag football in brick. Uh, they had a summer league as well as, as a winter league. Have we looked into maybe um, a summer league as well? We, we haven't dwelled into the summer league yet, but I, I will say, you know, in the, in the test runs of the season that we've had previous seasons so far, the, the interest from the teams, the existing teams that play and some that heard about it, they're asking me about a summer league as well. So they are, they are, there is interest in that. So we'll, you know, like I said, we're full blown right now. This is the most teams we've had. You know, and I think it, this, this may be the, the time that we do go ahead and roll into the summer. So, okay, yeah, I think they ran, I can't remember the exact days, but I know we used to play. I, yeah, in I played, the summer, in, I played in the break leagues it was too. It so. one or two, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, one, one. Cousin Joseph. Um, what is the status on uh, the soccer coming over to the West Bank? I know they had talked about it, and uh, I mean, if you have any dates or whatever, they might start that on that side of the river yeah. for the, that, the little kids. Right, right. That's still there's, they're still in the work, still trying to work the kinks out and figure all it out. But it, it is still in discussion, progress, and 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 it's something that we want. We want to offer everything on both sides, you know, and. Uh, right. And, and, and what we really like about it is to be able to do to have, like we said, have one program. You know, not an east side, west side. Have you know the Gonzalez Soccer Club inclusive of both. You know, we got plans in action where baseball and softball. Are, you know, it sounds like they're going to become one. You know, so we don't have a you know a west side league and then the Ascension League. We have because we're all Ascension. You know, so that's uh that's that's our goal. But yeah, we're still in the talks and that trying to get it all figured out. You know, the the 
the smaller number, I guess, of uh, participants on the other side, but the kids who do participate in sports on the west side, they play all of them. So the deal is trying to work it out where they don't overlap, you know, because you, all your 200 kids that play basketball, well, they also all play football. So, like, if it overlaps, then you're going to be hurting when the season starts. So that's, okay. that's the kind of kinks we're working out right now. Okay. That's it. Councilman Lawler. Mm. Are we having the uh, ultimate Frisbee tournament uh, this year at Mardi Gras? Uh, maybe John. I know he's in the back. Yeah, the uh, – Ultimate Frisbee, the so soccer was taking care of that, but the first round was supposed to be this weekend, and that actually got canceled. Gotcha. So I'm not sure what it was there, but there's another one in February uh, that's, on, that's on the calendar. So we'll see. I'm not sure if it was it was, it was, you know, it was canceled by the organ, organ, organizers, not us. You know, yeah. So uh, I don't know if it was a lack of participation or just some kind of scheduling conflict, but um, that we still have another one. I think it's February 13th, something like that, that's on the books too. So Okay, good. And I have um, one additional question. Have we ever um, thought about maybe an uh, adult basketball league as well? We, I guess it was separate. I mean, they, they had one at Lamar Dixon. Again, kind of like me and you, 20 pounds lighter. I played in the basketball league itself at Lamar Dixon. So, uh, you know, we do have a tons of injuries because because our the gym is just booked constantly. Now, we got a lot of youth stuff going on in there, but we're getting an influx of calls, especially now when, when they get in the middle of a basketball season of – Adults constantly call and they want to rent the gym out just to you know just to get exercise and go. So that's uh that's something that's probably one of the next things adult wise that we'll probably look into. Okay, I know um, Breck. I think they play their games um, throughout the week. Right. I was thinking maybe we could try to look into maybe you know we don't have the population Baton Rouge does, but maybe one night, uh, you know Tuesday or Thursday have a adult league and right. just, you know as a pilot program to see how it goes. Yeah, like I said, definitely so. We got tons. I mean, I still. Despite the, the the oldness, I still get out there every now and then with a group of guys and still try to play some. So, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm familiar with that. Like I said, I played break forever, you know, and played in that league and uh, familiar how it works out too. It's it's all going right now as as we speak. So, but uh, yeah, that's uh that, that's definitely something we're gonna look into. Okay. With that, we have no further questions on the program's update. We'll go to agenda item number six: substantial completion of the Lala Field Fence Project. So yeah, we're asking for substantial completion of a lot of fence project. Uh, they came out, um, you know, we had we had a bid out to replace the entire outer uh, fence of the uh, project. It's been completed. It's just beautiful out there now. Uh, it's eight foot tall fence. Everything, you know, we had a lot of broken boards, some rotten boards, stuff like that falling off. But it's all been put back together. Like I said, it's beautiful out there. Project itself was bid out for I think a maximum of thirty three thousand dollars, and the final cost came in at thirty one thousand three hundred thirty five. A motion to uh, accept. Second. We got a motion to accept by Councilman Joseph, second by Councilman Lawler. Do we have any objections? No objections. The motion passes. Uh, with that, we go to agenda item number seven, Recreation Lamar Dixon Sponsorship Program. All right. We want to come to light with, you know, we were asked a couple questions earlier about uh, the uh, monies from the soccer program, so on. And when the soccer contract was signed, you know, um, there was some give and take in there, and, and, and one of the big deals was advertising revenue. Uh, it's how uh, it kind of worked out, and, and it's a it's a pretty good plan, you know, as far as how it's going to work out and uh, be beneficial for us, uh, you know, in the long run. So we kind of want to make it public that the recreation is also partnered with Lamar Dixon on this, and we've expanded it to all of our recreational community center facilities, you know, because you know advertising is advertising. If, if if someone if someone uh, feels that uh, there's enough traffic through a building that, that it's, it's advantageous to them to you know to want to get their name out there, then we're we're happy to oblige them on that. You know, because because in turn all that money goes back into recreation, and and we roll with it. We so we worked out a partnership with Lamar Dixon on this, and um, to oversee it, put everything in. Like I said, um, and, and it pretty much all follows the basic guidelines of the, of the same thing that was laid out for soccer. So, like, we didn't overstep anything. Minus the fact that actually the, the numbers, you know, it was, I think it was an 80-20 split on that. When it comes to the outside records facilities, it's, it's you know, it, it's, it's recreational money. It's all recreational money. So um, the sponsorship program itself, you know, our sponsorship program is it's multi options. The program offers everything from basic sponsorship at a single facility to a bundled offer, you know, at multiple facilities. Um, Jazz Trailer is uh, heading us up. You can contact him, you know, anyone uh, that has uh, any information about it or uh, any, any interest in it at 225-450-1009. Uh, um, I think a little birdie told me there's a couple, couple of law offices that uh, they, they're waiting to phone call from right now to see about uh, if they want to get their name out there a little bit. So. 
Councilman Joseph. Well, I guess this is going to be for Kyle sitting out there. Kyle, come up to the front here. I, I know you uh, projected with the soccer field roughly about $200,000, dollars $300,000. Right, once we get All right. Now, okay, with these um, sponsorship on the outside of it, what type of, you know, money you think we may generate when we now we advertise them across the parish um i mean that's I, the real estate there is almost endless i mean it's um it could double that number pretty easily i mean when you consider every park uh, i mean they have i'd have to get the linear footage of to consider how many signs we could put and things like that okay um now the other question is i know you didn't have a price on <laughs> Uh, Hi, is the sponsorship pretty steep or what? No, no. Uh, the for a four by eight sign at this um, multi-use complex, the uh, Turner Law Firm could pick that up for a thousand dollars a year. Uh, so, which is a, a great deal considering the number of people that come through there. Um, we actually do have a verbal commitment, and we're moving the contract with a company that wants to be the um, naming rights for one of the fields, which is a ten thousand dollars sponsorship. Uh, we have several other uh, signs from uh, hotels, mainly hotels, because that's who benefits the, the most um, from these outside tournaments, restaurants, things like that. Um, right now, we're on the hook. We have somewhere around twenty to say twenty-five thousand dollars in commitment that we okay. want to move the contract on. All right, well, that's it for me, Jim. I think the Turner Law Firm would make it twenty-six, <laughs> <laughs> unless you wanted a field thirty-six. <laughs> Oh, I don't think that's Councilman Lawler, I think you have a business also. <laughs> <laughs> he has a bigger law firm than me, so that's good. <laughs> right, any other questions? Okay. Right. All right, no other questions. We'll go to agenda item number eight. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn by Councilman Lambert, second by Councilman Joseph. Meeting adjourned.